I had a little contrato with my husband about locations, my then husband who sadly died now. He just didn't want me to go on location. He seemed to think that all sorts of things happened on location. He was sort of right. <laughs> As somebody said, when you all go away, when you're making Lawrence of Arabia, it's four walls and no windows. People can get up to a lot of hanky-panky. And we had lots and lots of arguments. He really, really just couldn't bear the thought of me going away. So I said, fine, I'll see what I can do. And I went to work for the producer of this film called Kurt Unger as our man in London. And the idea was he wanted somebody who had the skills that I had, but he wanted them to be in London. So when he went abroad to make his films, I was there and I could be coping with things, you see. Our man in London. And we were making this wonderful film, Alistair MacLean, who I'd read all his books, absolutely incredible man, to be made in Amsterdam. So my boss, Kurt Unger, sets off with all the crew to Amsterdam, and I am our man in London. Within three days, he rang up and said, I can't do it without you. You've got to come out here. I said, I can't, Kurt. I promised my husband. Right, he said, come out for a week, and I'll fly your husband out for a holiday, and I'll talk to him, which is what he did. And I remember, can you believe it? He called him into his office, and I heard him say, I need your wife. And I heard my husband say, well, so do I. And what they cooked up between them, which suited me down to the ground, was I would spend the whole week in Amsterdam and he would fly my husband out every weekend. And occasionally it would be right for me to go back to England because he would have things that he wanted me to collect and sort out. And so, of course, I'd be home. So I was the only person on the unit who actually had weekends off because I had to have time off with my husband and I had just such a good time.